Hey everyone, this is a quick video on how to hook up the DDJ-1000 Record Box Edition to Virtual DJ so you can stream audio from your turntable through VDJ and consequently out to the broadcast channel. One thing real quick is that I've noticed the Record Box version has been said to not act as a standalone mixer where the SRT version does. So I wanted to test that out really quick. I've unplugged it from the USB, I've got a turntable hooked into it, and you'll notice I'm getting audio just fine. I'm also getting effects just fine. Just make sure you're in the line and you have your input set correctly to either phono or in my case, I'm going through a preamp and you just set it to line. One quick note on the preamp. I looked for one that had the ability to adjust the gain, hoping that it would give it just a little bit more oomph and I found one. So you can look for one of those. It does help on the input for going into line mode. That being said, uh, these mixers are notorious for being a little bit low on that side. So a lot of times when you hook up a turntable and you're running audio through it, you're cranking up that gain all the way. However, there is something you can do that will prevent you from even needing a preamp. And that is, there is a free VST available out there called Gain 12. And I'll put a link for that in the description. Basically, you install Gain 12, take note of where the uh, folders are that it installed the 32 and 64 bit DLLs, and you move those into Virtual DJ's folders under the, I believe it's the effects. So I'll show you where that goes. And that actually puts a button up. You can uh, assign it to an effects. So I actually have the three effects up and I assign it to effect number three. I'll show you that in a minute. And you can give yourself plus or negative 12 gain which gives you all the oomph you need. And uh, in my case, I actually have to set my trim uh, for the gain pretty much at 12 o'clock. Now that we're all hooked up to the computer, let's go ahead and run Virtual DJ and go into the audio settings. You want to go into the inputs and set up line three. Go ahead and add that. Pick the DDJ-1000 and give it in five and six. If you have two turntables and you're using four, you go ahead and use line four. Do not use time code. You want to use the line ins. Okay, now that we've got our audio set up, let's put our record on and let's get it in through VDJ. To do that, you'll notice that on the actual board itself, we're still in line and we do see signal and we do still hear it, but we want to switch it over to USB-A. That way our pad effects light up, which we'll be able to use, but we don't see any of the meters anymore. To fix that, there's a couple of things we want to do. One, make sure you have Gain 12 installed. And then when you go to your deck to uh, add effects, you'll see Gain 12. And I've just put it on one of the uh, effects channels, number three, and turn it on. That way, you'll be able to give yourself that plus 12 gain that I recommend so highly. Make sure there's no other effects on because your pads will control those separately. And then last thing you need to do is go over to scratch and this button down here under line in on this side, which is line in one and three. You, you click that and there's our waveform in real time. And then on our mixer, here's our levels. And you'll notice gain 12 has allowed this signal to come in nice and hot. And I'm not even up at 12 o'clock. I'm just a little bit shy. Great thing about this, all the effects work up here. And the main part of this whole thing was under master. So when you go to broadcast, your vinyl is now broadcasting out something that a lot of the older mixers, while it will let it pass through the board, it still won't let it pass through the broadcast or the internals of EDJ. And that's it, you're good to go. Have fun.